Good morning. This is David with TechNewsZone.com on Sunday, April 18th, 2021. Cool. Uh, today I'm just doing a quick video or a video on my FL Sun Q5. I'm having it print the Toast uh, Clock Spring 3 Toaster Test Toaster. Tongue twister. Uh, it's printing in graph milk terracotta. It's like a mustard yellow matte filament, which is really good filament so far. I really like their filament. It's matte. But it prints well. And I'm doing it on the um, FL Sun Q5, which is a Delta printer. So far, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, only had a, I had got it as a fixture up, like I said in a previous video, and fixed it up. And it seems to be working. So far, it's been printing overnight, I think since like 11 last night. And it's like 9 now, so almost 12 hours. But when I printed this on my um, Oh, Max Shark, it took like 30 hours. So, so far it's probably at like 10 hours uh, of printing. And I printed it at, I think, 0.16 millimeter, 0.16 mil, uh, layer height at 25% um, infill um, at slightly slower than, I, I used uh, Cura, not Cura, I used um, Slicer, the Slicer made by Prusa, the Prusa Slicer. And, um, slowed it down a bit, I think it's putting it at 66 um, millimeters per second, which is fast. Like my lot max did it at 40, but deltas are faster. I mean, this thing could do it, could do it at like 100 or 120, but it wouldn't have come out so good. So I slowed it down a bit, um, but it is printing it. And I'd say it's almost halfway done. It's, um, Looks like 47% done, or maybe 40, 37% done. So it'll probably be done by tonight, which is way faster than my Lot Max Shark. Which Lot Max Shark's awesome, but this is faster. I've always been a Delta fan. The only one, the other printer I'm excited by this summer, I'm getting the Plybot from Plybot. Um, and it's a Scala, so I wonder how it would do this. Um, but it's similar a little bit to a Delta, but not exactly so. Always been a Delta fan. My one of my first printers I ever had was the Hatchbox 3D, a little bit larger Delta than this one. But so far, this one's behaving. The only thing I could eventually upgrade, upgrade, I think, would be the um, extruder. Right now it has a BMG clone. Maybe I would put a regular BMG in there or a Titan or something. But um, so far, it's quiet and it's printing it. So we'll see how it goes. Like I said, Dave with TechNewsOne.com in Las Vegas. But let me give me a quick image of the Apple Sun Q5. They make three models. I think it's the QQ Pro. Uh, I think this is Marlin. I didn't put that sticker on it. Like I said, it was a fixer upper. It came with a sticker. Um, I think, but it's so far so good. It works. I had to put it together. It wasn't a lot of work to it, but I had to rewire a little bit. Uh, put the new parts back into it because it came out with a lot of parts missing, but, but so far since it is working, it's doing well. I think it's Marlin, is what my impression was. Some people have put, put Clipper on it, which I don't know how much work that is. It could be any better than what it does now because it already does a pretty good job. So I'm st for now, I'm sticking with Marlin. But like I said, this is the uh, FL Sun Q5. It's a pretty uh, cool Delta. And right now it's printing the Clock Spring um, Torture Test Toaster. Sorry, it's early. And then um, it's in Philly with a group called Hot Makes. Um, so it's pretty cool. Well, I'll come back later. Uh, for now, this is it. Uh, we'll come back in phases and show it maybe in a few hours. Thanks for tuning in. We'll try to do this every Sunday from now on. Uh, show off one of our printers printing, uh, do some training, anything we can do to help the community. This is David with TechNewsZone.com. This is uh, part two, another minute of the um, Torture Toaster by Clockspring. Printing new graph milk and my Apple Sun Q5 Delta. Sorry about the finger in the picture. Oops. Um, just a little farther along. I waited about another hour, but it's still printing. It'll probably be done, I'm thinking, later tonight. But it's printing very well so far. Like I said, in graph milk uh, at 0.616 um, layer height, about 25% full, no support, just a brim. And it's doing a good job. See how it works. It looks really good so far. So hopefully it'll work right out of the box, right out of the off the bed when it's done. I say right out of the box. But cool, rocking Sunday morning. Uh, FL Sun Q5 printing the clock spring, 3D. Shout out to Hot Makes, awesome product um, channel. I love this torture test. If anything else is cool, 
I clock spring that I can print that's cool to test on 3D printers. We do a lot of it lately. We have um, a monoprice voxel we're, we're messing with. We have a lot max, a couple lot maxes. We have a Ethel Sun Q5. We're getting a ply bot in the summer, but Dave with TechNewsZone.com. Hello, this is David with TechNewsZone.com. This is our um, torture toaster printing on my Ethel Sun Q5. It's the third part of the video. Uh, we did it earlier. Now it's like 80-something um, percent done, so it's almost done. Um, the uh, started printing last night around 11 p.m. It's like, I don't know what time it is now, like 5 p.m. now here in Las Vegas, Henderson area. Uh, this is printing the same material in the, as the one in front of it. That was printed on my lot max. The green one sitting in the picture in the front was printed in graph milk olive on my lot max printer, Shark. This is printing on the FL Sun Q5, which is a Delta, which I built. I had some issues, but I had to rebuild it with parts and stuff. But I, and I kind of had to add the, uh, get the extruder. That's weird. So that camera wraps all the way around. Uh, but it's still uh, printing. It should be done in the next couple hours, and we'll see how it passed or not passed the, uh, the test, uh, being you know all the stuff it's supposed to be able to do. But uh, very cool to hot makes uh, the and clock spring for having this cool toaster. If you everything else that's cool, it's mechanical, it's print in place. Let me know. Reach out to us. I'm at iTechNewsZone on Twitter, YouTube.com forward slash TechNewsZone on YouTube. TechNewsZone.com on the web, TechNewsZone on Instagram, TechNewsZone on Facebook. We've been on the web since 1.11.11. So far, we reach about 3,500 to 5,500 views a day on the web. Working on YouTube. I'm a 3D print person. I love 3D printing. Have health education and autism. Army vet, blogger. Uh, I'm in sales for the last 30 years, too, in construction sales. But I have a 3D print lover. Right now, we have a bunch of 3D printers. But this one, this one's really good. Uh, I've always been a fan of Delta. The only one I'm looking forward to getting, well, maybe the IVI 3D if it ever shows up, and then the Plybot. So between the Plybot, this, and the IVI, we'd be cool. If we don't get the, ply, the uh, IVI, then we'll definitely get the Plybot. They'll come through. I have a lot of faith in the uh, uh, Brook Drum and the um, Plybot guys, but I'm eager to play with that one. But this is my FL Sun Q5. It could do 200 by 200 by 200 build area. Uh, so this is nowhere near as big as it could make something like this. Um, in terms of height, it could build a really tall statue, that type of thing. I think it's 200 millimeters in diameter on the build plate as well, and 200 millimeters high and 200 millimeters wide, so X, Y, and Z. So, But it's looking good so far. But look at the detail. Look, it looks really clean, um, which is, I've heard really good things about this FL Sun Delta. So if you need a Delta printer, you like Deltas, I'm very impressed so far. It works well. It's very, very quiet. And it's very fast. Like the same print on my Lot Max, which is a Creality Ender type printer. Um, it took it like 30 hours. Where this so far hasn't even been 20 yet. So it's not super duper fast. It could be. I, I, I turn it down to like 66 millimeters per second. Uh, Prusa Slicer said 80. If I lowered it some just to get a little better quality out of it. But it's printing. It's printing in graph milk. Uh, mustard yellow. I think it's terracotta. So it should be done. And when it's done, we'll take it out and look at it. Thanks, have a good day, and I'll be back later. Hello, this is David with TechNewsZone.com, and my um, FL Sun Q5 completed its um, clock spring 3D torture test, toaster. Um, I'm going to have to take it off in a minute. I'll do a uh, pause, and I'll take it off and show it to everybody. But it, it's done. It worked. So the printer printed really, really well. I'm pretty impressed. I haven't messed with it yet because it's still on the bed, but looking good. It's in graph milk yellow, almost like the lot. This was printed on the lot max in graph milk green. This one's like in a mustard, I think it's terracotta, yellow, or it might be, I don't remember, but I'll have to look it up. Um, it's on the printer, but it's on the other side. So, Steve with TechNewsZone.com, signing off. Hello, this is David with TechNewsZone.com. Um, just got done printing the torture test toaster from Clockspring 3D on my FL Sun Q5. Uh, the toast did pop, but once again, it broke uh, as soon as I popped it out. It is moving on both of these, but for some reason it broke the... Um, when I went to do the, the test on the 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, they all came out, but the 0.2 came out and then it broke, and it snapped one out and it fell on the floor, so I have to get it. But now when you try to lift this up, it's actually pushing against that, I think because I broke it. So but it did work. It was kind of my fault that it broke, but this did come off. The, the second time it did that, unless it's this filament, because when I printed this on the Lotmax, 
shark, it also broke off. So, like I said, this is DavidTechNewsOn.com. This is the clock spring 3D torture toaster test. And a uh, shout out, like I said, to Hot Makes because they made it with uh, clock spring. It's on the side. Yay, Hot Makes. Um, awesome. It did work, but uh, but I broke it when I pulled the thing out. These I have to um, undo the brim because I used a brim, which I shouldn't have on there so it's like coating on the outside of this. If I think if I take the brim off it will open because it looks like the gears are pretty loose in there so but the brim uh, is keeping in place. On the other side it also when I went to punch out the toast it cracked. I hear this piece broke off so for some reason maybe it was a glitch on the inside because when the toast came out this broke off and then this piece which was on there broke off but other than that the detail is pretty good. If you look at the in there until that piece snapped out right there uh, it was good, fairly good. So I don't know if I printed it too fast or what, or what, but my second attempt at a um, clock spring 3D toaster. This one is on the QSun FLS on my back Q5. So cool. It did work fairly well until I was rough with it. So, uh, like I said, Dave with TechNewsZone.com and Las Vegas signing. Once again, this is David at TechNewsZone.com. A quick follow up. I did uh, get the brim off these, and they do turn. So. Um, uh, so if you turn these, they do turn. I, th I think it's because I, I, next time I do this, I'll try not to do it with the brim. But if you turn this, uh, I did get it to turn, so I'm not the most coordinated in the world, but it does turn. So And the one on this side closed, too, so on the back side. They both open and close, but they do. Uh, I'm not the most coordinated in the world. If you turn that. They open and close, so. And that popped up earlier. But it opens. The only thing it broke was the, uh, when I snapped the toast out, it broke the inside. So I, I think I was a little rough on it, but, but I did get these both to turn um, on here. Hmm. They open. I actually print it with a brim, which I didn't realize you're not supposed to have a brim, but we took the brim plastic off and they closed. See that one? That one closed. See how it closed? Open. The only thing it broke on the inside is when I pulled the toast out, it snapped one of the little um, thingies in there that hold it together. So, And this came off again, but I don't know why mine keep breaking when I flip the toast up. But these do move. So let's move. Um, on there. So it's not perfect, but pretty good for my second print. I need to calibrate the printer more, I'm thinking, but considering it was the first second print I printed on it, it actually came out pretty solid. So, like I said, Dave would take newzone.com. Like, this was printed on the um, Clock Spring 3D uh, by Hot Makes. Shout out to both. Awesome, awesome toaster. Kind of reminds me, I was always a Mac guy back in the way back when they had the flying toaster. So, I like the toaster thing's cool. I had a niece. Um, Nissan Cube for a while, kind of remind me of a toaster. So toasters are cool, uh, and they do move and everything. The only thing is when I broke it on the inside when I went to pop up the toast. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong with that aspect of it. Maybe it's something in my printer or my settings. But, but this is the uh, Graph Milk Yellow Matte PLA printed around I think 210 degrees, 0.16 millimeter layer height, um, point, um, about 66 millimeters per second on the FL Sun Q5. Uh, Delta printer. Cool. Have a good Sunday. Uh, once again, I printed another, like I said, toaster, torture toaster. So pretty cool. Have a good weekend, and I'll try to do this every single day.